Yo, what's going on wizards and muggles alike? Uh, this is your boy Infamous and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 things that I want in Hogwarts Legacy. I'm really excited about this game and a game that I have been looking forward to for a very long time. On that note, I thought it'd be fun to compose a great wish list of a couple different things I want to see for the game. If you tend to like any of my ideas, make sure you guys do hit up that like button, hit the subscribe button and become a part of the infamous nation and stay in the loop for everything Hogwarts Legacy related. But if you guys are ready, let's hop in. Now to kick off my list, I feel like the most obvious thing I have to say is a complete explorable open world. Now this may not come to a shock to many as we know this game is going to let us explore Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and different surrounding areas of Hogwarts Castle. That being said, I really want to make sure that this world is fully explorable, that I can go explore the waters of Hogwarts, I can go and explore the deep deep forest of the Forbidden Forest, go to different parts that we have never even experienced within the books or even the movies. And again, it seems like they're catering to this already by having us explore different dungeons and caves within the Forbidden Forest, but I want to make sure those are fully explorable, that I can go into different directions looking at different things that these tombs, caves, and other little secrets may hold. I ultimately want to feel like Hogwarts Castle, the Forbidden Forest, Hogsmeade is its own individual character, full with life and creatures and different things to really have us explore and be immersed in the world of Harry Potter. Now number two on my list is going to be seasons and environment changes. Now this one is actually pretty simple, but I would love to have different seasons within the Hogwarts year. Going across fall and spring, from when the leaves would fall off the tree, to when the flowers would bloom. And of course, one of the most beautiful moments in Harry Potter is seeing the snow all around the castle. I believe if you incorporate this very well with a day and night cycle, this can make a big contrast on how the game plays at different times. It would just be cool to see Hogwarts Castle in different environments alongside the Forbidden Forest. How would that be affected? How would the new creatures that you would meet in the forest in spring differ from how you would meet them in the winter time? It gives a great space to create different ways to interact with different creatures, people, and overall just different play styles even. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see a dragon in the middle of the winter, so it'd be cool to see what other creatures we could find out there in the forest to battle against. Not to mention, I'm a pretty good sucker for some awesome snow graphics. Now jumping into number 3 on my list is going to be a perfected spell and combat system. Now the biggest thing with Harry Potter and this entire world is going to be magic. So I want to make sure for this brand new Harry Potter game we get an amazing combat system. Something that is fluid and nice and very customizable to how we want to play. If you're more of a wizard who caters to animals and different creatures, then it'd be great to have a more defensive playstyle just in case anything else comes around. Versus kind of being more on the battle side, you love to battle so you'll have more offensive spells to go against different enemy types as well as just overall having fun battles. Which means I really really want to see tons of different spells, even spells we haven't even seen within the movies or even the books. That would be really awesome as we are in a different time period well before Harry Potter's lineage and his storyline even begins. Now to kind of tie in with number 3, I thought number 4 here which would be morality or choice based system would be absolutely amazing. Now in a game which we're going to be exploring the entire Hogwarts castle, meeting different friends and possible enemies on the way, it'd be cool to have different choices that you will make. Now the developers already stated this is going to be your story and you will be encountering all kinds of different wizards, friends, enemies and many many more. And throughout the story you're going to find out that you hold a very ancient power inside of you. But what do you do with that power? Do you do good things or do you lean more towards the evil side? And that's where the morality or choice based system comes into play. It could be minor details like deciding to sneak out the castle at this time or battle this specific wizard or teacher at this time. I really enjoy choice based systems because it gives me different options to depend on what kind of story I want to have for the game and it also adds additional replay value. And I definitely want to see more of this in other games as well, but for a Harry Potter inspired game, a Hogwarts legacy game like this, I want to have the decision to make different and wild choices and then replay the game again 
and see what happens if I chose the other way. Now next up, I want to talk about a house or clan based system. Now of course within Hogwarts Legacy, they have confirmed that you will be choosing your own house, which we all know is going to be Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And I think having some exclusive perks to each house will be pretty dang on awesome. Maybe as a Gryffindor, you build better bonds of loyalty with different friends that you meet throughout your entire journey of Hogwarts Legacy. Then maybe as a Hufflepuff, you get to interact with more magical creatures on a faster level. Or even Slytherin, for example, maybe gives you perks of different potions that you can make faster than some of the other houses. Like I'm saying here, there is tons of options you can do with a house-based system and giving different perks away. Something I can definitely see and something I am definitely hoping for myself as I really want to have some great options and again, add to that replay value of selecting a different house. Which kind of ties into my next thing I want to see in the game and that being tons of different classes. Now, as we see in the trailer, we get to be in a couple different classes like potions, hybology, transfiguration, and many, many others. Now, I have heard a lot of people talk about Bully as it did have an amazing class system. Now, this is one game that I have personally not played, but everyone speaks high volume about this as you can go into the class and learn many, many things, or you can skip it for a different side of the story. I feel like jumping out of potions and going somewhere else to maybe fulfill a side quest could be a great way to see what happens if you skip potions and you go to a different class. What are the consequences and how does that tie back into something like the morality system? Now, as a person who has actually been placed into the Ravenclaw house due to Pottermore's quiz, it'd be cool to see me complete all my classes and be an A student, but at the same time, what if I wasn't? What are the consequences and how does it play into the story? That's what I want to see from these classes. Plus, it would just help with your leveling and depending on what kind of wizard you want to be, just all kind of sweet perks that you could earn throughout playing in the story. Now again, if we're talking about a morality system, a house or clan system, and tons of classes, we're going to meet some very interesting friends on the way and I think we need to have a social tree or a social system of some kind. Again, this is your journey throughout Hogwarts, and I want to see what kind of friends that you make on that journey. So I feel like depending on who you interact with, maybe they give you other perks, other spells you may learn from friends and other wizards that you encounter in the Hogwarts Legacy story. With having something like a social system, I think it'd be a great way to interact with other NPCs and see what they have to offer you. For example, maybe you're a Gryffindor, but you need to meet this NPC who is a Slytherin and knows a very specific and very powerful spell. It'd be great to interact with him, make him your friend, and then at some point, he teaches you the spell based off of your friendship level. Again, I think this makes for a very dynamic system and can really incorporate the NPC and make the world feel more lively and Hogwarts feel more alive because not only is the castle and the surrounding area really incorporated into the story being really immersive, but you're also getting immersed into other NPC characters. Now this next one is going to be a personal one for me and this is going to be a Quidditch mode. I love Quidditch when it comes to the Harry Potter lore and something I look forward to to every movie that has come out so far. The fact of riding a broom and kind of playing a sport inspired mode is kind of crazy and sounds like super fun. Now of course it'd be great if they actually implemented this into a multiplayer aspect but at least for the base story that you could try out for Quidditch and earn a position as a certain type of player. Another big thing for me I would have to say is going to be a very solid character creation. Now I'm not expecting anything drastic or anything absolutely amazing, but something that is going to make my character look like what I expect them or hope for them to look like. I want them to have great hair options, great eye options, nose options, and overall give us a really solid customization screen to really get ourselves what we want to look like if we were in the Harry Potter lore. And based off this screenshot from the leak gameplay a long time ago, it looks like we're going to have a solid character creation with tons of different options for eyes, face, mouth, and even scars possibly based off that symbol right there, which looks like three kind of cat claws. Now again, character creation is a very big factor when it comes to tons of games. I would say something that really makes or breaks the game overall. So again, I'm hoping that this game has some solid character creation. And last but not least, to finally round out my list is going to be multiple endings of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, with all the decisions that you have made throughout your entire story of the game, choosing your house, making certain friends, 
perfecting certain spells, going to certain classes, what does it all mean at the end? I would love to have at least a couple different endings of Hogwarts Legacy. It'd be really awesome for the replay value because I want to play this game more than once. I want to play it in the first definitive house that I am meant to be in, but play it again in maybe an opposite house or something I'm like to or something I really want it to be in. And I want to see if the outcome of my decisions will change my ending. Now, at least for the most part, we know throughout the game, you'll be choosing your yourself kind of as a good or bad wizard but what does that mean for the ending i wouldn't want to have evil intentions the entire game and have the same exact ending that doesn't make sense so i'm hoping that this game will give me some different options i would say at least four different endings that could end off the story in a kind of generic ish way but it's fulfilling to the players like i said for me this would just help the replay value and something i desperately want to have in this game as i want to see what other outcomes i can make from my own story in hogwarts legacy that all being said guys that is going to round out my list for all the top 10 things i want to see in hogwarts legacy i have a lot of things that i want for this game because i am actually really excited about this title i am ready to get my hands on my ps5 and play this game in its beautiful graphics the immersive storyline and many other things as well but i want you guys yes you to go in the comment section down below and let me know your thoughts what do you guys want to see and if you guys did enjoy this video again give it a like share the video out and hit the subscribe button again i'll be reporting on everything hogwarts related here on the channel and giving you guys all the news updates so again let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i will see all of you guys next time thank you guys for really watching i do appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time